everyone. Welcome to our home. Hey guys, welcome to our home. So this is traditionally called a coat closet because it's near the entrance of the house and when you come in you're supposed to hang up your coat and put it in here. But I have tried so many configurations in here and so we are going to transform our coat closet into a functional storage closet. So let's see what we are up against here. <gasps> ah! Where'd you come from, little boy? I was in this coffee thing. <laughs> so here it is. Um, this is the original color of the house. And it's kind of like a cream, vanilla cream. Yummy. Um, there's uh, some cords here from an old alarm system. Obviously the traditional like shelf and then a little like twirly thing to put your coats. Look at this is wow, it's old. I had like stuck some command hooks back here. Uh, it stored a lot of stuff. So basically need it to store all of our office supplies, all of my business supplies. And um, we're excited to make it over. So it definitely needs like a good paint job on the doors. A lot of scruffs and stuff so um yeah we're gonna paint it that is the first step and love you guys to come along and see how we change this very functional and very spacious look at all that room out there closet into something great <laughs> Now it's looking much better. That's how the color looks. Okay, so we have finished painting the inside of the top. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the closet. Oh. Hey guys, I was just starting to measure stuff off and wasn't sure what to do with um, the spacing. But I think like at eye level when you enter the closet, these might be where I would put all the like pens and pencils. And they don't need 12 full inches. Also if I end up hanging stuff from here, I don't quite know what yet. But I think I'm just going to make this one like a shorter distance here, like up to here that's 10. And then I wanted 18 at the bottom for a big basket that I have. And then I have these, this yoga mat, a couple yoga mats, and some of my camera tripods. Those um, just need a little bit of clearance up here. So I'm just not sure, um, I guess you'll see at the end whether or not I'm going to build a shelf that goes across here, um, leaving just enough space for that yoga mat and all the tripods. Um, a lot of this can also be accomplished with like storage compartments, so I feel like I'm going to be buying a lot of that stuff. And like those, you know, those pen drawer holders. Um, I was thinking like something to store all of the, yeah, all of the pens like horizontally so it can store more. So again, like we live in such a small little what I call um, cottage bungalow. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think that um, it makes sense to have it be very flexible. Also, if we ever move for the next owners to be able to like have not to have this be so custom, but more so just shelving and then organize the little things with a smaller organization solutions. So we're going to go for that. So here we go. We're measuring this. We're going to go 10 inches for the first and then 12 for the other two shelves and then 18 on the last shelf. Um, again, not sure what to do about this, but I think we'll do an 8 inch shelf. Yeah, an 8 inch shelf here and then um, the rest of the space would be for all the tall stuff. So excited! So these are pre, we cut these beforehand and painted them so that they would match obviously what we've painted. And we're about to put up the first shelf. Let's see how it looks. By the way, um, in, we were initially going to just paint all the shelves white and buy some MDF, which is kind of a standard shelf. Uh, material, but George found this beautiful um, slab of wood. It was a lot more expensive. I think it was $66 for a 4 by 8 but I think it would look nice, um, the natural wood against the gray, and just keep everything kind of neutral. So basically, um, let's see how it looks and go from there. I'm using a nail gun, airstrike, what is this one? Okay, the first shelf is in. I think it looks great. Let me show you what wood we ended up picking. So this is a more expensive, but look how smooth the uh, surface is. This part is unfinished, so definitely need to figure out if I'm going to cover it with vinyl wall covers. If you guys haven't seen our vinyl wall cover project, I'll show you. Um, I'll put the link above. And over here, didn't like the look of this sticking out, so we're going to change this board out for something, especially since it's the, at eye level. Um, we're going to get a board that goes all the way out for this one, and then move this board somewhere down farther where it doesn't matter as much aesthetically. So yeah, let's keep going, but I'm loving the look of the natural wood. No need to paint, right? And then the walls.
All right, so George has finished all of the support brackets or whatever they're called. <laughs> and now we're putting in the beautiful wood shelves. That bottom one is really spacious. That's nice. And then the rest are 12 inches, 12 inches, 10 inches right here. Let's see if it'll go in. Great. And then we just have, is that sturdy enough really? Okay. We're deciding whether we want to nail the wood down or not because if we need to ever remove it and maybe like store something taller, it's like easy to remove. So I like that. Yeah, this doesn't, I don't even know if we need to finish that. I'll we'll have to see if it bothers us, but let me do a zoom out so you guys can see. We need a half shelf up top. Yeah. Um, let me see what we yeah, once we start putting yeah. stuff in there. See if we need it. Okay. How about forward? Is it forward heavy? Like if I put stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. why is it not moving? That's really solid. It's weird. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I am going to start organizing this space. I think I need a few um, things before I get started. So I will check back when I've found some storage solutions to especially put all of this um, office supplies. Welcome back, guys. So we have organized this closet. Let's check out the final result. Okay, so starting from the bottom here, our fire extinguishers, some plastic bags, so kind of more pantry items, our pantry is pretty small so needing some additional storage trash bags this layer is all my business stuff so shipping labels and um, packaging tape um, some extra supplies and then more at the eye level are the main supplies that the household uses so things like all of the highlighters and sharpies and markers lots of other like sets of things markers and then back here they just have tucked back in here some extra supplies so basically up here we decided not to put that shelf um, and it's just enough clearance for the yoga mat and other things a couple bins over here the ring light um, so yeah that's about it we didn't get to paint the doors but um, I think we're going to do a project where we paint all of the doors and baseboards because um, the house needs it. So thank you so much for coming along with us. Um, the shelves look great. I love that they look like they're floating because these were painted the same color. still haven't found a use for the um, old coat rack um, pole. but. I think overall way more functional for our family to have some additional shelving versus like a place to hang coats because we live in California and it doesn't get that cold over here sadly. Um, but yeah, thanks again you guys for watching. Um, let us know in the comments like if you would transform your coat closet into something like this or maybe something else. Talk to you later. Bye.